All right, just going to do a video refuting the Calvinistic twisting of John chapter 15, verse 16, to once again the Calvinists like using this text to prove that man has no free will in the context of salvation and that God just chooses who is saved. Now let's look at the text there. John chapter 15, verse 16 it says, Ye have not chosen me, but I have chosen you, and ordained you, that ye should that ye should go and bring forth fruit, and that your fruit should remain, and what that whatsoever ye shall ask of the Father in my name, he he may give it to you. Now see they look at the home in on that the part of the verse that says, I have chosen you, you have not chosen me, you know, and that I ordained you. But they forget who is he talking to in this passage there. Okay? It's a common proof text they like using to teach to basically deny free will. But once again, Calvinists, they not only don't look at context, but also fail to compare scripture with scripture and cross reference scripture. That's what Calvinism is based off of. John chapter 6, verse 70. Okay, who is who is chosen by Jesus Christ? John 6, 70 says, Jesus answered them, Have I not chosen you twelve, and one of you is a devil? Who is the twelve? The twelve apostles, you know, the, the disciples of Jesus Christ. That's who he's chosen. Uh, John chapter 13, verse 18. I speak not of you all. I know whom I have chosen, but that, 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 that the scripture may be fulfilled. He that eateth bread with me hath lifted up, lifted up his heel against me. Not good at reading on a computer, but again, chosen. Who is he speaking to in the context? His apostles. John chapter 17, verse 12. While I was with them, while I was with them in the world, I kept them in my name. Those that thou givest me, I have kept, and none of them is lost, but the son of perdition, that the scripture might be fulfilled. Once again, you read the context, he's talking about his apostles. And the, the son of perdition there, the scripture might be fulfilled, the one that's lost, the son of perdition, is referring to Judas Iscariot. Again, refer back to John 6, verse 70 to 71. Have I not chosen you twelve, and one of you is a devil? See, Jesus Christ knew from all along, from the very beginning, that Judas was just a devil and an infiltrator. And I, I happen to believe that Judas was not even, you know, not just a devil-possessed man, but actual a devil, an actual devil in the form of a human. I do happen to believe that. Uh, but because people like using Judas as proof you can lose your salvation. Well, if Judas was, if was a was a devil, like if Jesus knew from the start Judas was a devil, then the guy was never saved. The guy was never born again. But side issue. But again. He was given them by the Father. John chapter 18, verse 9. That the saying might be fulfilled, uh, which he spake of them, that which thou givest me, have I lost none. Again, in the context, he's speaking about his apostles. He's referring back to John 17, 12. So what's going on in John chapter 15, verse 16? When he says, I have chosen you and ordained you, you have not chosen me. He's talking about his apostles and apostleship and discipleship. He's not talking about choosing people for salvation. He's talking about... God, you know, obviously giving him these 12 apostles and he chose them. It's that simple. He chose them, you know, like he went to them and chose them. You're going to be an apostle, you know, like with Peter uh, out in the, on the uh, boat. It's that, it, I mean, just simple cross-referencing scripture proves that. But the Calvinists will just isolate verses, cherry pick verses here and there to prove their false doctrine. So that's what's going on there. So don't, don't be deceived by Calvinism. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with all the brethren. Goodbye. Thank you.